Now let's take a look at a legal problem called longest substring with at most two distinct characters. So given a string S, find the length of the longest substring T that contains at most two distinct characters. So at most two distinct character basically means that um, at, uh, more, not, no more than two distinct characters. So if we have only one distinct character in the string, that still count as a uh, that we, we can still calculate the, the longest substring, right? Only if it's like more than three uh, distinct characters in the substring, then we cannot be able to uh, count that as a as a uh, longest substring. Uh, so in this case here, you can see we have an example of ECEBA, and the longest substring in this case is going to be three because we have ECE, which has a length of uh, three, right? So in this case, it has two distinct characters in the substring. And uh, we only we have a size of three, right? So is is the max. So and then here you can see we have another example of CCAABBB, and in this case T is AABBB, which is has length is five, right? So we have AABBB, which has a length five, and uh, it has two distinct characters in the substring. Now we could choose CCAA, but in this case we have a length of four, so it's not the it's not the largest. So to solve this problem. Uh, we're going to use sliding window technique. Uh, basically, we're just going to expand our window uh, if it can satisfy our condition, and we're going to contract our window when we don't satisfy our condition. Right? When we when we start to uh, don't satisfy our condition, we want to make sure we contract our window, and um, and then from that, we're going to ex continue to expand our window after we're done contracting. Right? After we're contracting, we we want to make sure our window satisfies the current condition, then we can be able to expand. So let me show you a demonstration of that. So let's say we have an example of E C E B A. Okay. So so far we have one element in, in the table. In this case, we have E, and the max length that we have seen so far is one because we can have uh, one character. In this case, our current window satisfies the condition because we have no more than two distinct characters in our window. So now we expand our window. Now we have C. So C has appear once. Okay, so we're going to have uh, max length that we have seen so far is two because we have two elements in our window. So now we have E. So now we're going to um, add E by one, right? So in this case, we're going to add. Uh, uh, in this case, our window has two E's, and our wind our maximum length that we have seen so far is three. So now we're going to expand our window again. Now we have B. So now we're going to um, check to see if if we satisfy the condition. But in this in this case we don't because we have at least three. Now we have three distinct characters. So we're going to uh, contract our window. So now we're going to shrink our window. Now we have only one e. And now we're going to still doesn't satisfy the condition. Then we're going to shrink our window again. Now we have e and b. So now we're going to update our maximum length in this case, but the thing is that our maximum length is three. Three is bigger than two, so we don't we won't update the 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 current uh, the current maximum length. So then we're going to start to uh, expand our window again because in this case we have satisfied the condition. So now we have a. We add a onto our window, and then we're going to have three elements. But in this case we have distinct characters of three. So we have to start contracting because in this case we don't satisfy our condition. So now we're going to remove e out of our table, and now we start to uh, uh, met, the, met the requirement, met the condition, and then we have to update our max length. In this case, the size is two, but the max length, right? In this case, the max length is three. So three is bigger than two, right? So there are only two element, two elements in the window. So in this case, we're not going to update that. So now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So first, we know, uh, we basically know that the constraints um, it doesn't really have any constraints. So what we can say is this: we can first define our base case. So if the string is empty or string has only one element, uh, then we can just return the size of the string, right? Because there's only uh, one element, or there's no there's no elements at all. So we're gonna return the size of the string uh, size of the string if uh, if the size of the uh, in this case, if the size of the string is less than three, actually, because if there's only two, then we know that that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a valid answer, right? Then we, once we define our base case, uh, we're going to define our pointers, right? So define our pointers, 
and we want to make sure we define the table, right? And we want to define a max length. So once we define those variables, we're going to uh, basically trying to uh, find the max length, right? So max length substring to the same characters, okay? So let's define those sections. So first, we're going to have n, which is equal to s dot, uh, s dot length. Or what we can do is we can convert this into a character array, which is equal to s dot two character array. And then we're just going to say array dot length. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to say if n is less than three, we can just return n, right? If there's only one element in the array, uh, in the, in the, yeah, in the array, then we can just return the size of the array. If there's two elements, then we can just return two, right? And then we're going to define our pointers. So our pointers is going to be, in this case, we have our left, which is equal to zero. So the right also starts at zero. Once we define our pointers, we're going to define our table. So we have a map. Sorry, it should be, character should be the key, right? And the integer is going to be the value. So we have hash map is equal to hash map. Okay, so once we define our table, we're gonna define our max length. So now we are going to uh, have integer max length, which is starts at zero. Okay, initially we haven't, we haven't added any elements yet. Okay, so we're gonna say is this, we're gonna say while the right pointer is less than n, right, we're going to start to expand our window because in this case we, we uh, we satisfied our condition, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first add the current character onto our hash map. So we're gonna say hash map dot put. Okay, we're gonna say array at right. Okay, it's gonna be hash map dot get or default because we don't know if we uh, create that uh, position. We, we, we haven't created that element yet. So in this case, we're gonna say array at r. By default is zero, but we're gonna plus one on that one. So once we update our hash, hash map, we're also gonna um, basically check to see if we satisfied our condition, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we say while, right? So while um, the, the size of the hash map, so that size, in this case, is if it's bigger than two, then we know that we don't satisfy. So we shrink, so we contract our window if we don't met the condition, right? If we don't meet the condition. So in this case, we're gonna start to shrink our window, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, remove the element that the left pointer is pointing to. So we're gonna say um, hash map dot put array at left. We're gonna decrement that element by one. So hash map dot get uh, array at left, decrement by one. And if you realize that hash map dot get, right, hash map dot get array at left is equal to zero, then we know that we can just delete that element, right? So remove array at left, we can just delete, the el delete that element. And otherwise, if we, uh, if we don't, we don't have to delete an element, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna move the left pointer one to the right because now we delete the element off our table and we can be able to shrink our window now. So then at the end, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to get to a state where we uh, continue to shrink our window until we met the condition, until we met the condition, which is basically uh, contract our window until we have at least, uh, uh, you know, less than or equal to two elements in the, in the in the table, right? So then what we're gonna do then is we're gonna um, update our max length, right? So in this case, our max length is now equal to the maximum value between either max length or the size of the table, or uh, sorry, the size of the window. In this case, to calculate the size of the window is gonna be the right pointer minus the left pointer plus one to give, to, which give us how many elements do we have in our window. So once we update our max length, we're going, to, we're going to move our right pointer one to the right. So now we, because now we know we met, because after we've been through all this while loop thing, we know that we met the condition, 
that we can start to expand our window again. So we're gonna to continue to do that until we get to a point where we um, iterate or basically traverse all the elements in the array, then we can just return the max length. Okay, so now let's try to uh, run our code. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try to run our code. Okay, so let's try with this example right here. And let's try to submit. So here you can see this is how we solve this uh, Lico long, longest substring with at most two distinct characters.